Okay. So you're gonna start your practice in child's pose and you can bring your knees wide, big toes together to touch and then just start to walk your fingertips forward. Now, if child's pose feels like a lot for um, those of you that maybe feel it in the backs of your knees, you can always grab pillows and place them behind your knees or a bolster in front. But just coming into this lengthened shape to create some space into your spine. So check in with your shoulders. Your shoulders are softened down your back. You're creating space along the sides of your neck, tops of your shoulders. And instead of starting this practice in a place that's really rigid and in a place that's maybe forceful, just allow your joints to be really soft. So you're still lengthened, but there's a heaviness to your body. And just start to feel your breath moving down the length of your spine and extending out to the sides of your rib cage, to the right and to the left. And then allowing your rib cage to soften back through center. This week's theme has been all about choosing joy and today we're just gonna find some joy in movement. So no matter how you showed up on your mat today, really just carving out this space for you to move through your own practice in whatever way feels good for your body and feels nourishing. And just dropping those expectations or judgments that sometimes accompany your yoga practice. All right. And from your child's pose, gently start to peel yourself away from your mat. Walk your knees hip width distance. And then walk your hands underneath your shoulders so you're stacking your bones. Inhale, breath, drop your belly down, rise your gaze, rise your tailbone up. And then as you exhale, press into the ground, curl and round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest. And just take two more of those. Inhale, breath to lower your belly, send your heart forward, and exhale to curl and round your spine. One more breath, just like that. And come back to neutral. Walk your hands one handprint forward and then shift your shoulders towards your fingertips. So you're in a modified plank. As you exhale, lower all the way down. Keep the tops of your feet connected. Hands just slightly hover off your mat. Inhale, baby cobra. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Lift your heart away from the earth. And then exhale, lower down. Keep your knees hip width distance and press back to a child's pose. We're gonna go through a little bit of a flow. And so it just makes a little bit more sense for your knees to be about hip width distance. Inhale to a cobra or up dog. So start to pull yourself forward, lower your hips, send your heart towards the top of the mat. And then as you exhale, ripple through the spine, send your hips back to your heels. Curl and round, especially into that lower back. Inhale, wrap, ripple forward through a tabletop. Start to lower your hips, roll your shoulders back, and then exhale to Sit your hips back to heels. Let's take three more of those, really feeling that undulation of the spine from an opening of the chest and then a softening curve to the back of your body. You feel that really juicy opening, especially when you pull forward. And then there's almost a release when you pull back. The next time that you come back to child's pose, you can walk your knees wide if you'd like, big toes to touch again. Walk your fingertips off of your mat over to the right side. Hands can stay shoulder width distance. You can always place your left palm over top of your right forehead to your mat or even your left cheek. Take three full breaths, lengthening through the left side of your body. Feeling how movement doesn't have to be forced from external, but that it can be created through the internal workings of your breath. At the bottom of your next exhale, walk your hands through center 
and over to the other side. Three full breaths. And at the bottom of your next exhale, start to gather your fingertips forward. Peel away from the mat to come back to your tabletop. And tuck your toes under, float your knees off of your mat. Pause here and hovering tabletop for just one full breath, pulling your belly button up towards your spine. And then when you exhale, start to lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet a couple of times, picking up one heel, bending into one knee. Make sure you're pressing through all 10 fingertips to take some of that strain out of the wrists, as well as give you an extra dynamic force from which to ground. Gently take a bend into your knees and walk your hands to the back of your mat to forward fold. Inhale, breath, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale to fold. Bend into your knees, inhale, rest your arms all the way up, big full body stretch. And exhale, gather your hands to heart center. Inhale, breath, reach your arms out and up. As you exhale, sit your hips back, sit into your chair. Okay, hold for an inhale. Exhale, dive forward to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend into your knees, inhale, rest your arms all the way up, big full body stretch. Exhale, sit into your chair. Hold for your inhale. Exhale, dive forward, release. One more time, inhale to halfway lift. And exhale, drape forward. Energize through the inhale, reach arms all the way up. Big, big, big stretch. And exhale, sit back into your chair. Hold for your inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift and lengthen. Walk your fingertips forward, moving to a plank. Shoulders stacked over top of your wrists. Take a full breath in. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Now this goes a little bit differently. Start to bend your knees to the side. Turn your toes out and sit your hips back towards your heels. Okay, and then inhale, shift forward to plank. So toes will turn towards the top of your mat. Exhale, breath to down dog. Sink your knees down, hips back towards your heels. And then inhale, ripple forward to plank. One more time, inhale, back to down dog. Bend your knees out to the side, heels lifted. And then ripple forward through the plank. Lower down from toes or knees all the way down to your mat. Okay. Walk your fingertips out wide, tensing up onto all 10 fingertips. As you inhale, peel your heart away from your mat. As you exhale, roll your right shoulder forward. Look over to the left. Inhale, breath, peel up through center. And exhale, twist to the other side. Just one more to each side, starting to open up through the fronts of your shoulders and chest. Create some strength into your fingertips. Okay. Inhale, breath to come back up through center. And then exhale, lower all the way down. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders, sit back to a child's pose. Take three full breaths in your child's pose and see with each exhale if you can just let go, maybe of some tension, maybe just let go of anything from your day that's creeping in. And just allow yourself to fully land in this moment. Meet back into your downward facing dog and walk your big toes together to touch. Inhale, breath, rise your right heel high to the sky. Bend into your knee, open into your hip, stacking your hips right over top of left. As you exhale, take your right knee to your nose, curl it round through the shoulders, tuck your chin in. Inhale, breath, three-legged dog, extend your right leg straight behind you. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. One more time, inhale, breath, sweep up. This time, step about halfway up your mat and lengthen out your spine for pyramid. Okay. As you exhale, fold belly, then heart, then head. 
Two more just like that. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale to fold. One more time, inhale, breath, reach. This time, exhale, start to turn your toes to the right. Lower your left shin and left hip down and you should come into a seated twist. So right foot will be rooted down. Wrap your left arm around your right knee and start to twist towards the back of your mat. Right fingertips can always walk back, but you'll be facing the side of your mat with your hips and then shoulders are twisted to the back. On an exhale breath, gently untwist your body, plant both hands over to the left and then just fold. Let's do that two more times. Come back up through center, lengthen your spine, wrap your left arm around your bent knee, twist to the back and exhale to fold over to the left. One more time, wrap your left arm around your right knee, twist to the back and exhale to fold to your left. All right, come all the way back up through center, slide your right knee over top of your left. Lateral flexion, walk your right fingertips out in shoelace. Inhale, left hand reaches up and over towards the back of your mat. And then exhale, come back up through center. Inhale, reach over to the front, right fingertips guide over, and exhale back through center. And one more time to each side. And one more over to the top of your mat. Okay, coming all the way back through center, start to turn your shoulders towards the top of your mat, towards your left hip. Plant both hands down and mean to L-shaped pose. So right foot will stay planted. You'll come back to a pyramid and then pick up your left toes. Beautiful. Step your left toes beside your right, hip width distance apart. And then inhale, sweep your arms up, sit your hips back, chair pose. Nice. Inhale, breath, fill up. As you exhale, take your hands back and drape your body to your thighs. Inhale, chair, lift your hands overhead. Exhale, drape. One more time, inhale to chair. Exhale, let that go. Inhale, breath, reach your arms all the way up. Interlace your fingers and then flip your palms up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, pour over to the right. Inhale, lift up through center. Exhale, pour over to the left. Inhale, up through center. And exhale, swan dive forward, release your hands out to the left and the right. Inhale, breath to halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands Step your left toe or right toes back, sorry. Make sure your left foot is forward. Right hand stays rooted down. As you inhale, take your left fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, thread your left hand underneath your front thigh and curl and round in, almost like you're coming into a cat pose. Inhale, breath. Reach your left fingertips all the way up, open through the chest. And exhale, curl and round in. One more time, inhale, breath, left hand to the sky. Exhale to round in. Use your inhale to open this all the way back up. Exhale to take your left hand to your mat. Three-legged dog, press into your hands. Sweep your left foot back behind you. Bend into your left knee, stack into your hips. Left hip stacks over top of your right. As you exhale, bring your left knee to your nose, curl and round through your spine. Inhale, breath, sweep back up, straighten out your left leg. Exhale, shoulders over wrists, knee to nose. One more time, inhale, breath, sweep up. Step halfway up your mat for pyramid. Start to lengthen out your spine. It's okay if your back heel is lifted. And then as you exhale, fold belly, then heart, then head. Two more breaths just like that. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to fold. One more time. Inhale, breath, lengthen. This time instead of folding, turn to your left for seated twist. Lower onto your right hip so that your left foot will be rooted on the ground and you're facing the side of your mat. Wrap your right arm around your left thigh and start to walk your left fingertips back twisting over towards the back of your mat. And then moving through this a couple of times, take a full breath in. As you exhale, untwist towards the top of your mat and fold both hands, 
come down towards the earth. Inhale, breath to twist. Right arm wraps your left knee, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold, both hands come down and drape. One more time, inhale, twist to the back of your mat, and exhale to fold. Use your inhale to come up through center, and then take your left knee, so it starts to land over top of your right, so uh, pinky side edges of your feet to the ground. Okay. Walk your left fingertips out, inhale, breath, reach your right hand up and over towards the back of your mat, and then inhale, breath up through center. Exhale, lateral flexion on the other side. Okay, so just one more to each side, starting to really open up through the sides of the rib cage and obliques. And then the next time that you come up through center, setting up for L-shaped pose, turn your shoulders to the top of your mat, plant your hands, come into a pyramid, and then pick up your right heel. Okay. Squeeze your right glute, see if you can lift your heel a little bit higher. And then as you exhale, bend into your right knee and step it beside your left. Inhale, breath, chair, sweep your fingertips down and up. And then exhale, drape your body back, bend deeper into your knees. Inhale, breath, sweep your arms up, and exhale, hands come back. One more time, inhale, reach up, exhale, let that go. Inhale, breath, reach all the way up, interlace your hands and flip your palms to the ceiling. As you exhale, pour over to your right. Inhale, breath, lift up through center, exhale, pour over to your left. Inhale up through center and exhale, release your hands forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left toes back so your right foot is forward. Inhale, string your right fingertips all the way up, adding in a twist. Exhale, take your right hand underneath your front thigh, curl and round in chin to chest. Inhale, open up right hand to the ceiling. Exhale, curl and round in. One more time, inhale, breath, reach up. Exhale, contract through the core. Inhale, reach your right hand to the sky. And then exhale, take your right hand down to your mat. Three-legged dog. Inhale, breath, sweep your right foot high. Bend into your right knee, stack into your hip. As you exhale, Finding your wild thing, slowly, slowly, slowly start to drop your right foot down to your mat. Roll to the pinky side edge of your left foot. Option to take this as more of a modified plank with no arc through the heart or flip your hips up to the sky for wild thing. Beautiful. Okay. Gently release your right hand down as you do so. Float your right heel all the way up. As you exhale, cross your body Take your right knee towards your left elbow. Inhale, breath, sweep your right foot back behind you. Exhale, right knee crosses left elbow. One more time, inhale, breath, sweep your foot all the way up. And then as you exhale, take your right knee to your left elbow, falling star. Extend your right foot out long. Maybe you take your left hand to your hip or all the way up. Optional, you can always play with a bind. Bend into your right knee. Peace fingers around the big toe and just play with kicking into your foot. Okay. Gently release your left hand to your mat. Inhale, breath, sweep your right heel high. And then exhale, release your right foot down. Pedal out your feet, let that go. Okay. Start to walk your hands towards the back of your mat once again, finding a forward fold. Take an inhale breath to halfway lift and lengthen. And exhale to fold. Bend into your knees, inhale breath, sweep your arms all the way up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Feet about hip width distance apart. Inhale breath, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, sit back into your chair. Now hands can stay overhead. You can always take them to heart center if this is a lot for your shoulders. Play with picking your heels up off of your mat. So they might just pick up a tiny, tiny bit. Notice if your heels are falling out to the sides, feel like you're squeezing inner thighs towards one another. Maybe you set your hips a little bit further back. 
Nice, this is a really hard pose. So keeping the core strong, belly button into your spine. See if you can start to raise the heels, straighten the legs, stand up with heels lifted, big, 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 big stretch. And then as you exhale, lower the heels and forward fold. Inhale, breath to halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale to fold. Walk your fingertips forward, downward facing dog. Inhale your left heel high, bend into your left knee and stack in towards your hip. Wild thing, slowly take your left toes to the ground, to the right edge of your mat. Lift your hips up, maybe you flip your heart to the sky and come into a bit of a back bend. Yogi's choice. And then gently release your left hand down to your mat, three-legged dog, left heel rises high. As you exhale, cross your body, left knee to your right elbow. Inhale, breath, sweep back up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. One more time. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, left knee to your right elbow. Extend out your left foot and then peel your body open, falling star. Optionally, you can play with this shape, both hands on the ground, or you can play with your bind. Gently release your right hand to your mat. Inhale, breath, send your left heel high to the sky, and then exhale to downward facing dog. Ripple forward to your high plank, and then find your cobra all the way to the bottom. So you're gonna lower all the way down, and then inhale to cobra. Just pull your elbows back, slight opening of the chest. Exhale, release down. Press back to child's pose and take about five or so recovery breaths. So if you notice that your breathing started to get tight or fast, just remembering to bring in slow, smooth, controlled breath. Just to let go of wherever you were so that you can start to find the joy that is present in this moment. Feel yourself away from your mat, back to tabletop, and then lift your hips all the way up, downward facing dog. You can step your way to the top of your mat. If you wanna work on jumping, pick your heels up, bend your knees, and then just play with floating forward. Heels kick in towards your hips. And if you don't quite make it all the way, just step your way up. Inhale, breath to halfway lift and lengthen, and exhale to fold. Bend into your knees, inhale, breath. Sweep your arms all the way up. Take a big full body stretch. And then exhale, hands to heart center. All right, standing at the top of your mat, use your inhale breath, reach your arms all the way up. Right hand grabs a hold of your left wrist. Inhale, reach up, and then just start to peel over to the right. Hips pull over to the left. Feet are about hip width distance to start. And then transfer that weight into your right foot. Slide or step your left foot off of your mat to the right. So you're crisscrossing your thighs, left behind right. You can always create more space in the stance if you feel a little unsteady. Okay. On your inhale breath, release a grip of your hands and just point fingertips up to the sky. Pick up your left heel and press through the ball of your left foot so you're going really, really tall. Take a full breath in. Just like we did in chair, as you exhale, sweep your hands back, bend your knees, drape your body. Okay, squeeze in our thighs for balance. Inhale, breath, reach up, grow tall. Exhale, drape your body back, hands swing back. Two more just like that. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let that go. One more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come back. All right, pause. Start to lengthen out your spine like you did in pyramid. Reach the crown of your head forward, hands reach back. Take the weight into your right foot, that's your front foot, and hook your left toes around your right ankle or calf or shin or even behind your knee in a reverse figure four. So good, this is not an easy pose. Draw your belly button up to your spine, slide shoulder blades together, one more breath. Slowly step back to a warrior one, so a little bit of a shorter stance. 
Inhale, breath, reach your arms all the way up. And exhale, gather your hands to heart center. Straighten out your front leg. Bring your right hand onto your hip and then extend your left fingertips up to the sky. Inhale, lengthen up through those left fingertips. As you exhale, start to hinge forward, pausing halfway with that flat back. Inhale, breath, lengthen, reach through your left fingertips. When you can't reach anymore, take your left hand to the outside of your front leg and start to roll through your right shoulder, roll your rib cage open. Always optional, you can grab a block to the inside of your front foot as well. If your back heel lifts, that's okay, as long as that's not pulling onto your knee. And then as you exhale, gently unwind, both hands to frame your front foot and turn and pivot to the left side of your mat for Skandasana. Bend into your back knee, so left knee will bend, right leg stays straight. Optional, turn your right toes up. Walk your left fingertips out. As you inhale, take your right hand high. If this is too much for your knee, hips stay lifted and left forearm will just come onto your thigh. If you wanna play with a bind, take your top hand towards your left hip. Maybe even lean forward and wrap your left arm around your bent leg. Play with rolling the chest open. <laughs> Gently, you can release from your bind. Walk towards the top of your mat again, L-shaped pose. Turn and pivot all 10 toes to face forward and then pick up your back heel. Now optional, you can work into this shape and just finding strength and stability. Or warrior three, start to bring your right hand to your heart. Float your left hand to meet your right and pull up into a T shape. If perfectly horizontal isn't available for you, know that you can always come off at an angle. Just lift your upper body higher and drop your heel but keep the activation of your left hip, really squeezing into that glute. All right, slowly, 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 release your hands down and step to a fold. Inhale, breath, halfway lift and lengthen. And exhale to release. Bend into your knees, inhale, breath, sweep your arms all the way up, take a big full body stretch and exhale, land your hands through heart center. Inhale, breath, reach up, grab a hold of your right wrist with your left hand, and then slowly start to peel over to the left, hips over to the right. Feel the weight of both of your feet into the earth, and then slowly start to transfer that weight over towards your left foot. Right toes pick up and slide or step behind your left so your legs are crisscrossed. Drop your shoulders down your back, soften through the sides of the rib cage. On your inhale breath, lift your hands up through center, release the grip of your wrists. Pick up your back heel so that your legs are really working to hold you here, inner thighs squeezing together. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, drape your body, bend your knees, swing your hands back. Inhale breath, sweep your arms up like you're growing taller. And exhale, like you're throwing away anything you don't need for the rest of your day. Two more just like that. Inhale up. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale up. This time pausing at the bottom. Exhale all the way out. And then start to lengthen your spine. Reach the crown of your head forward, palms face down. Flat back. Take the weight into your left foot and then right toes wrap around your ankle or calf behind your left knee. Squeeze shoulder blades and reach through your fingers, every muscle of your body working really, really, really hard. Slower than you'd like, step your right toes back for warrior one. Shorter stance about the middle of your mat and then use your inhale to lift up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Straighten out your front leg. Bring your left hand onto your hip and then right hand reaches up. Inhale, breath. Lengthen through the spine, reach to your right fingertips. As you exhale, start to hinge forward, pause halfway. Inhale, feel like you're reaching a little bit further in front of you. And then as you exhale, start to twist. 
right hand to the outside of your left leg or always optional. Grab a block and take your right hand to the inside of your front foot. Roll your left shoulder open as though someone's coming behind you and rotating your rib cage to bring your elbow up to the sky or left hand up to the sky. This is a really challenging pose and it can sometimes feel really awkward. So just make sure that you're bringing that breath into this shape. And then when you exhale, gently release your left hand down, turn and pivot towards the side of your mat and then bend into your right knee, Skandasana. Left leg stays straight, toes can turn up, hips can be as high or low as you'd like, but add in the opening of the chest. Walk your right hands out, inhale to take your left hand up to the sky, maybe work into a half bind, left hand to your right hip, or you wrap your right arm around your front shin for that full bind. Okay, so yogi's choice. Notice how all the sensation in your top leg or your front leg has faded. Maybe now feeling a lot of that work into the right leg. Use this as an active recovery. One more breath. Gently release any twist or bind that you're in. Walk towards the top of your mat, L-shaped pose. Turn and pivot all 10 toes forward. Hands can always come onto blocks or a block as well and then pick your right heel up. Weight is fully into your left leg. Maybe you start to take your left hand to your heart center. Maybe your right hand follows and you hold strong in warrior three. If you feel like you're dumping into the back, just start to lift up a little bit, take it out of that horizontal and just work on keeping a long, strong line from the crown of your head towards your back heel. On your next exhale breath, gently release your hands down and step to a fold at the top of your mat. Inhale breath to halfway lift and lengthen and exhale to fold. Bend into your knees, inhale breath, sweep your arms all the way up, big full body stretch and exhale, <sighs> lend your hands through heart center. Release your palms down beside you, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Just roll out your shoulders once or twice. Okay. Close down your eyes. Okay, you just start to breathe in whatever can bring you joy in this moment. Whether it's the sound of your breath, the feeling of just getting moving, of that life force inside as your heart pumps heavy. Maybe just about taking a break from your day and whatever you were doing before this. On your inhale breath, sweep your arms all the way up. Take a big full body stretch. As you exhale, land your hands through heart center. Heel toe your big toes together to touch if they aren't already. Heel slightly apart. Take one more inhale. Feel a lift through the spine. And as you exhale, sit your hips back into chair. So this chair, everything squeezes through center. Start to hinge forward, heart towards the top of your mat. As you exhale, twist over to your right. Hook your left elbow towards your right outer thigh. We're going to move through this a couple of times. So inhale, come back through center, always optional to lift up and then exhale, sit back, right elbow to your left thigh. Inhale through center, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale through center, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, breath, come all the way up through center, exhale, twist to the right. You got it. One more to the left. And then inhale, come up through center. Exhale, twist over to the right and pause. If your forearm doesn't land onto your thigh, just take your left forearm to your thigh instead of elbow and right hand to your hip. Bring your gaze down to your right big toe. Pick up your left heel. Maybe you play with taking your left heel in towards your glute in a one-legged chair, which is not functional by any means outside of the yoga practice. <laughs> and then slowly, slowly, slowly step your left toes back, step or slide to a lunge. Lower your back knee down and then open your arms all the way up. Inhale, breath, lift your shoulders over top of your hips 
And then continue that motion, right hand down towards the earth and left hand reaches up. Beautiful. Should feel a nice juicy stretch through the front of your left hip. Take one more full breath in. And then exhale, windmill your hands down either side of your front foot. Shift your hips back to a half split. Take an inhale breath, halfway lift and lengthen. And exhale to fold. Bend back into your front knee. Pyramid pose, tuck your back toes, slide your left heel up, straightening out your legs. We've been here before in a twisted pyramid. Left hand stays rooted down. Right hand comes up towards your hip. Now walk your left fingerprints, one hand print forward so your hands are in front of your shoulder. And then start to shift your weight into your left hand and your front foot, pick up your left heel. Okay. Gaze can still be at the ground or you can start to open up that right shoulder to the sky, maybe even a little bit more sticky. Can you remember to come back to your breath? And then gently, Start to release your right hand to the ground, crisscross your thighs, left foot crosses behind, right. Okay, crisscross fold, really great for the muscles along the IT band as well as into the front of the shin. So again, you don't have to have your pinky toes right beside one another, you can always step that left foot quite a bit further back. Feel free to bend into your right knee or your left knee. You can pull your hips back behind you or send your right hip out to the side. And then from this fold, if you want to play with getting into peroneals and the front of your shin, pick up all five of your right toes and roll to the pinky side edge of that foot so that the sole of your foot is starting to lift away from the earth. Gently release the sole of your right foot back down. Step your left toes to meet your right. So big toes together to touch. Inhale, breath, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, start to bend into your knees and then sit your hips down towards your heels. Okay, that's okay if your hips can go all the way down. Just take them down as low as they go and then start to walk your hands over to the right. Working into side crow. So you might just play with this shape of trying to get your left elbow to the outside of your thigh. Okay. Or maybe you plant your hands onto your mat and walk them out so they're not quite underneath you. Maybe about one handprint in front of your shoulders and just start to bend your elbows and rock onto your elbows. So just doing this a couple times. Eventually you might find that you get your thigh over top of one or both elbows and it creates a shelf shoulders pull towards your fingertips and that starts to lift your feet up but you can also play with lifting up one foot at a time if you want to play with a lengthened expression you can take your left leg long or start to extend your right leg long okay, so lots of different variations just play if you're not quite at the stage of wanting to float just play with that rocking motion awesome And then gently you can start to bring yourself back through center. So just walk your hands towards the top of your mat, pick up your hips and fold. You'll toe your feet out hip width distance. Circle out your wrists a couple of times. Let your head hang heavy. Inhale, breath, release your hands down and halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Bend into your knees. Inhale, breath, sweep your arms all the way up. Take a big full body stretch. And exhale, hands to heart center. Heel toe your big toes together to touch. Inhale, breath, lengthen. Exhale, sit your hips back into your chair. Squeeze your glutes, your inner thighs, your calves towards one another. Hinge at the waist so you're a little bit more of a tabletop shape. Take a full breath in. Exhale, twist to your left. Hook your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Inhale, breath through center. Exhale, other side. 
Okay, three more to each side. Inhale through center. Exhale, stay your hips back and twist. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale. Exhale, pulls you into your twist. Inhale, breath root through the feet. And exhale, sit your hips back. Inhale through center. This time we're holding. Twist over to the left. Hook your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Or always option right forearm onto your left thigh. Gaze down at your left big toe, really working to balance. Pick up your right heel. Now that might feel like enough for you where you can start to hover your right toes off your mat. Maybe you hug your right heel in towards your glutes. Slower than you'd like, slide or step your right toes towards the back of your mat for a lunge. And then lower your right knee down. Wing the arms wide open. And then inhale breath, lift shoulders over hips and continue that windmilling of the arms. Right hand reaches up. Should feel like a release for your hips. Maybe a nice big stretch for the upper body and side body. And one more breath in. And then as you exhale, windmill your hands down either side of your front foot. Send your hips back, half splits. Take an inhale breath to halfway lift and lengthen. And exhale to fold. And one more time, inhale breath, halfway lift and lengthen. And exhale to fold. Bend back into your front knee, walking your fingertips forward, pyramid pose, slide your right heel up. Right hand stays rooted, but walk it about one handprint forward because you're gonna need to take that weight forward. Left hand up towards your left hip. Start to take your weight into your right fingertips and your front foot, and then allow your back heel to lift up for your reverse half moon. Squeeze your inner thighs together, even though they might not be touching, that there's that drawing to center that helps with stability and balance. Make sure that you're breathing out. You'll always breathe in. And then gently unwind your left hand to the ground and crisscross your thighs for a crisscross fold. You can drape your body, you can lengthen your spine, you can always grab a block if the floor feels too far. Take a bend into either leg, whatever it is that you're craving for this moment. And then if you did so on the other side, play with picking up your left toes and just rolling to the pinky side edge of that foot working into the outer muscles of your ankle, alongside your shin, maybe even bottom of the foot, getting a nice release. And slowly release the sole of your foot back down. Step your right toes to meet your left, so big toes are together. Inhale, breath halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, sit your hips down towards your heels. Heels lift away from the earth. Okay. Walk your fingertips over towards the left side and just work into that twist. So you're working to get your right tricep onto the outer edge of your thigh, just as you did in your prayer twist. Okay. If that's not available, that's okay. You can do a one-armed uh, variation where your weight will just be on your left arm but just work into the twist to start, heels lifted. Then you can play with walking your hands, maybe just about a handprint away, and bending your elbows, just play with rocking onto the backs of your arms. Okay. Now, depending on arm length, you might need to pick up the hips a little bit to stack them over top of your arms. So you might not just be able to rock into them, but it might be a little bit more of a lift. So pressing through the balls of your feet, pick up your hips. Eventually you might find yourself that you stay steady. You can play with picking up one toe at a time or both toes. Once you come into this pose, it's actually quite balanced with your elbows stacked directly over top of your wrists. So there's not a whole lot to it. It's just simply getting into the shape and making sure that you breathe while you're in it. <laughs> All right. You can slowly start to come out of that. Walk your hands forward. Pick up your hips to a fold. Heel toe your feet hip width distance. And then pick up 
your feet and take your hands, palms face up underneath the feet to stretch out your wrists. So your toes can start to just massage out the crease of your wrists, maybe some of the fascia of your hands. You can walk your feet up and down the length of your hands, or if you really want to get into tops of the wrists, bend your elbows slightly and that will give you a nice juicy stretch. One at a time, pick up your feet, release your hands out from underneath. You can roll out the wrists a couple of times. Use your inhale breath to halfway lift and lengthen. And then exhale, fold, plant your hands, step yourself back to tabletop, swing your feet around and in front, and then just gently make your way all the way down onto your back. Once you come onto your back, bring your knees into your chest and just give yourself a gentle rock side to side. Keep your right knee in towards your chest, hands interlace on top of your right shin or behind your hamstring. Slowly start to extend your left heel out and away. Right knee draws more to the side of your rib cage. If you wanna get more length through your front of your left hip, just feel like you're pulling your left heel away from your body. Close down your eyes and soften the grips of your fingertips. And allow your breath to start to bring you into this place of grounding. And you can let go of all of the hard work that you just put in and start to find some rest. Guide your right knee back through center and then release the grip of your right fingertips. Extend your right arm up to the side and use your left hand to bring your right knee across your body into a twist. Now, if this pulls on your knees or your low back at all, you can always come back through center and bend both of your knees. Drop knees off to the side. Once again, allow your eyelids to rest heavy. And can you just notice how you feel in this moment after a fair bit of time and movement and effort, how it feels to just land? And I think this is often the part that we miss out on after we've put in effort and ingenuity and creativity is just to find that space of rest. Gently unwind back through center. Give your right knee a big hug in one more time. And then gently release the sole of your right foot down. Start to slide your left knee in towards your body. Hands interlace on shin or hamstring. And then right leg extends out. Take your left knee more to the side of your rib cage. Left knee maybe even pointing towards your armpit. Feel your belly rise up with full diaphragmatic breath as you breathe in and just softening away as you breathe out. As you start to relax into your physical body, carve out a space for your mind as well to just let go. Gently guide your left knee back through center into a twist. Right hand this time brings your left knee across your body. Left arm extends out. Gaze might fall the opposite direction than your knee, as long as that's okay for your neck. Don't be afraid to breathe into the compression of your belly. And 
Don't be afraid to let your body rest heavier with each exhale. And gently unwind back through center. You bring both knees into your chest. Give yourself one final hug, maybe a gentle rock side to side. If you need any other poses to close off practice, you're welcome to take them. Otherwise, you can gently release the soles of your feet down, extend your legs long, hands down beside you for Shavasana. Sometimes we land on our mat and we steal our own joy with whatever narratives we start our practice with. Maybe it's I'm tired or exhausted or I'm too busy. And if we hold and attach those narratives, it stops us from the joy of this moment. And I know that longer shavasanas at home can be really challenging, especially those of you doing this uh, retroactively, because there's so many distractions. And so I encourage you Notice when you're focusing on the distraction, but allow yourself to just come back to this moment by focusing on rise and fall of your breath. Maybe listening for the sounds of your breath. You can always count four counts on the inhale, four to six on the exhale. But really after a bit more of a challenging and fast paced practice, it's really, really important to take this time of rest. And if you do feel resistant to this, know that resistance is just showing you what you're not open to and where perhaps you can invite in more openness. So instead of going straight to judgment in that state of resistance, just let that go and take another couple breaths and just continue this pattern three, four, five breaths at a time. I'll bring you out of Shavasana in a couple of minutes so you don't have to worry about time. Just trust that you're okay, safe, and able to be here. Slowly start to bring your attention to your breath if you've drifted off. Bring your attention back to your body. 
rock your head side to side and start to wiggle into fingertips and toes. And then bring your arms overhead and just take a nice big full body stretch, reaching fingertips back behind you, maybe even pointing into your toes. And then as you exhale, just soften into those joints. If it feels okay, you can always bring your knees into your chest, and gently rock side to side, and just slowly bringing in some nourishing movements for your body. And when you're ready, roll to either side and gently make your way up to a comfortable seat. Hands land through heart center. Even sometimes when we don't feel like doing something, it's so important to just remember we need to breathe and that there will always be moments of rest after the work is done. So even when something feels challenging or tough is to not just focus on the accomplishment of that, but also on the reward to the body to rest and reset. So whether that's work or something you've been working towards, a hobby, a goal, whatever it is, just reminding yourself that in order to find joy, you need to remember to rest. So much love, so much gratitude from the bottom of my heart. Namaste.